mind. The Uptown District is about six miles west of downtown Houston. And as Uptown was evolving from a suburban to an urban environment, we knew that we needed to expand the pedestrian corridor. We needed to be able to provide better transit service. We had a boulevard project that included bus rapid transit. The Uptown District did a total revitalization of this corridor and they brought in wider pedestrian sidewalks with trees and they brought in this protected bus lane in the center of the road. We didn't want people to think that this was just another bus route. And so we wanted to give people a rail-like feel that would really entice them to really see this service differently than they normally would see a normal local service. Level boarding stations, off-board fare payment, full amenities at the station, full passenger information. And I think that's what matters. It's the passenger experience that matters, not what technology we use to deliver it. You get every feature of rail and it's flexible and you can do it literally using existing infrastructure. So that's the beauty of bus rapid transit and how we're trying to take advantage of newer ways of connecting multi-modes of transportation and do it faster and cheaper. Light rail was always in the picture until we began to look at the cost. We would not have the monies to be able to do all the things we wanted to do, which was to create this beautiful destination boulevard. And so by looking at BRT and understanding the service and quality would be just the same, we understood that there would be a significant savings. It's not just cost, but it was how much time would it take for us to be able to build this. And the time savings was as significant as the cost savings. It's very unique, you know, high standard quality is excellent. Yeah, I love it. And now you see businesses saying, when can you get bus rapid transit to us? So now it's not a matter of, are we taking a step down with bus rapid transit? It's no, bus rapid transit gets us in the game sooner. It gets us in the game cheaper. It gives us the flexibility. What we wanted to be able to provide was all rail-like service. These stations pretty much are very similar to the stations that you see on Main Street or you'll see on the Green Line or the Purple Line. There is the raised level boarding, so level boarding that provides customers with an opportunity to walk straight onto the vehicle without having to have a ramp deployed, which speeds up the trip. All door boarding, that's another aspect that's similar to rail. So when you do that, then you free up them to just basically use any door that they want to use. The fare mechanism, it's not on board, it's off board. You can pay before you get on the bus, speeding up your trip. In the rail, you have the next train. It lets you know when that train was coming. We have the same here on the bus. So there's the next bus technology. You have the overhead announcement and then the fixed guideway, which is the most important piece because that fixed guideway protects the bus operations when there's incidents in the main street traffic. We also have priority at our signal light. So whenever we're getting ready to go through our intersections, the bus has priority as soon as that signal turns, as soon as the, the bus approaches, we don't have to worry about traffic. The BRT line is treated like the rail lines. It's given a color, not a number. It's very clear where it's going. It's very easy to understand. And there just literally is no difference between light rail and BRT as far as the look and feel, the quality, and the service. What I love about BRT is the flexibility. So if there's ever in any instance that something is blocking that guy away, it's not like a train, it's a bus. So we're able to leave out of that guy away, we're able to detour around that problem, and we're able to continue in service. So there would be no delay with the BRT services. So this is really the first piece of our BRT system that's been implemented and that we're gonna build upon to create a network where you're able to transfer between Rail, BRT, local bus, park and ride. The Silver Line's actually going to run from uptown all the way east into downtown. Interestingly there, it's going to share some of the stations and infrastructure we've already built with our light rail lines. And this is part of the next phase of BRT, where we'll actually have the same BRT buses that run through uptown run right onto the rail line here and stop at the same stations as these light rail trains do. We realized that by building light rail, it would significantly impact the ability to be able to maintain access to those businesses, uh, would indeed permanently close some of the uh, access points to some of these retail hotels 
and office buildings. So in particular with BRT, we've been able to use a little bit less right-of-way. Uh, it's a little bit less intensive than the rail would have been in some of these corridors. Most of that has become improved pedestrian access areas. We're also improving all of the sidewalks and pedestrian environments to make getting to these types of stations a lot easier. The walking experience will be much better than it has been historically. Several years ago, the street grid was a suburban street grid and the sidewalk pedestrian corridor was actually more suburban. We built BRT in a place that was fundamentally car oriented, that was built for driving. And the only way that's going to work is if we transform the entire place around that. So it has good sidewalks, it has safe crosswalks, and ultimately it has buildings you can easily walk right up to. No one likes to walk down a concrete street with no greenery around, and so this roadway improvement specifically brought in hundreds of trees in order to create those tree canopies. It's becoming a more pedestrian friendly, people friendly corridor. So we have safety measures that we implemented for pedestrian safety. Our crosswalks are highly marked. If you have problems, we have the blue beacons. You can press the button and get our police department. We also, all our platforms have cameras that tie into our Transtar system. By putting in the median, it actually enabled a safer way to be able to get onto the bus. Instead of having to walk across the entire boulevard, then it's just walk halfway. And we have these little pedestrian safety islands there in the middle. Uh, people can stop there if necessary till they're able to cross. You can see how that combined BRT and pedestrian project is really transforming uptown from a place you can only drive to to a place where you can happily walk and you get a really good pedestrian experience. And I think that's transformative. And that's as important as the transit itself. So one of the criticisms that you often hear is that, well, developers won't invest because they feel like BRT is not a permanent investment like real is. But one of the things you'll see with the way that we've developed the system is, in fact, these are stations. They're not dissimilar from how we invest in a rail system. These are permanent, and I think they create a sense of place. It's not like there's some magic chemistry and two strips of steel which lead to development. What development comes from is confidence that developers have in something that they know will last, that will not change five years down the road. But if you really build high quality bus rapid transit, I think it means the same thing to developers that a light rail line does. And I think we're seeing that in Uptown. We've seen a lot of new development along there. Development continues to grow. Well, since it was announced in about 2016, we've had almost three billion dollars of development in the area. Primarily residential, but also we've had our offices, we've had hotels, and we've had retail. I don't like BRT versus rail debates because I think they're actually largely pointless. And what sh we should be talking about is, are we building transit in the right places? And are we creating the convenience, the frequency, the reliability that people need? And there's lots of different ways to do that.